Former Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro was discharged from a Kissimmee area hospital after being hospitalized with abdominal pain related to injuries he suffered when he was stabbed in 2018. Bolsonaro tweeted, after being stabbed in Juiz de Fora MG, I underwent five surgeries. Since the last one, two times I had adhesions that led me to other medical procedures. Yesterday, new adherence, and I was discharged from a hospital in Orlando, USA. Grateful for the prayers and messages of prompt recovery. This all happens as Democrats are publicly calling out for Bolsonaro to be expelled from the U.S. following the riots that took place when his supporters stormed the Latin American country's Congress, Presidential Palace, and Supreme Court. Bolsonaro criticized rioters and denied any involvement in the riots. Nevertheless, Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeted the following. Nearly two years to the day the U.S. Capitol was attacked by fascists, we see fascist movements abroad attempt to do the same in Brazil. We must stand in solidarity with Lula's democratically elected government. The U.S. must cease granting refuge to Bolsonaro in Florida. Democratic Congresswoman Ilan Omar had a similar tweet saying, quote, Two years ago, our capital was attacked by fanatics. Now we are watching it happen in Brazil. Solidarity with Lula and the Brazilian people. Democracies around the world must stand united to condemn this attack on democracy. Bolsonaro should not be given refuge in Florida. On Monday, the White House put out a statement following a call between President Joe Biden and Brazil's Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. The statement reads, President Biden condemned the violence and the attack on democratic institutions and on the peaceful transfer of power. The two leaders pledged to work closely together on the issues confronting the United States and Brazil. The White House also said Monday it had not received any requests from the Brazilian government regarding Bolsonaro.